friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode on case study based questions class 10 cbse as per the new pattern 2021 here we are going to discuss one more question on case study based questions on the topic statistics and this is the part 12 previously we have uploaded 11 parts and the links of all these 11 parts are provided in the description box you can watch all these 11 parts so that you will get an idea that the types of questions that will be asked as far as the case study based questions are concerned and you will get the idea how to deal with such questions so let us see the first question So friends here is the question on the screen saving money is a good habit for everyone it helps you in the event of financial emergency some children of class 10 decided to save their pocket money the following distribution shows their daily pocket allowance the daily pocket allowance given in rupees is 100 to 120 120 to 140 140 to 160 160 to 180 and 180 to 200 and the number of children are 12 it means that the 12 students are getting the pocket money as 100 rupees to 120 rupees range 14 students they get the pocket money from 120 rupees to 140 in the range of 120 to 140 rupees and 8 students get the pocket money in the range 140 to 160 and so on and you have to answer the following questions so see the first question which is on the screen the class mark of the class 140 to 160 is now you have to find the class mark class mark means the midpoint that you have to find so the class mark you can find easily 140 to 160 the class mark definitely will be 150 and therefore the c option will be the correct option you cannot find the orally if it is like that then you have to take the mean or the average of these two numbers that is 140 plus 160 divided by 2 and that will give you the 150 but orally you can do that the middle number will be 150 so that will be the class mark and so the class mark of class 140 to 160 will be 150 so the c option will be the correct option now let us move to the next question the median class is whether 120 to 140 is the median class or 140 to 160 is the median class or 160 to 180 is the median class or 180 to 200 is the median class median class means what that range where the median lies so how do we find we take the cumulative frequency correct so here there is no need to take the cumulative frequency of all the numbers what is the total number of children if you add all this you will see that the total is 150 sorry total is 50 so this total is 50 and therefore we will find the cumulative frequency so n is 50 so n is 50 then what we do we find n by 2 so n by 2 will be 25 then we search for the number 25 in a cumulative frequency so just go on taking the cumulative frequency so first number will be as it is 12 then the second number will be 14 plus 12 that will be 26 correct now you don't need to find the remaining uh, remaining uh, cumulative frequency because you don't have to find the median you have to just say which is the median class so 25 is n by 2 and therefore you search for the number 25 or a number which is just greater than the 25 so here 12 the second number is 24 25 is not there but the number which is just greater than 25 is here so 26 is that number and therefore the class interval 
corresponding to this 26 will be called as the median class and therefore the median class will be 120 to 140. So here A option is the correct option 120 to 140 is a median class. It means the median will lie in the range of 120 to 140. Now let us see the next question. The upper limit of the model class is <clears throat> the upper limit of the model class is. So you have to find here the upper limit of the model class. So first you will have to find the model class. How do we find the model class? We see the maximum frequency. Here the frequencies are 12, 14, 8, 6 and 10. So what is the model, uh, sorry, highest frequency? 14 is the highest frequency and therefore the model class will be the class corresponding to the highest frequency and therefore 120 to 140 is the model class. So 120 to 140 is the model class and what is asked what is the upper limit of the model class. So this is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. So 140 is the lower limit of the model class and therefore B option is the correct option. Now let us move to the next question. Here the model daily packet allowance, pocket allowance is rupees 125, rupees 140, rupees 135 or rupees 160. Here how do we find that or we gauge the answer? Just try to understand this. We can find the mode by using the formula mode is equal to whatever the formula it may be. But here we have to gauge because this is a question of one mark only. Now here the model class is what it is 120 to 140. It means the mode will be in the range of 120 to 140. The next frequency is smaller compared to 14. But the previous frequency is quite closer to 14. It is 12. And therefore the mode will incline towards the 120 and not towards the 140 because the rest of the numbers following numbers are less following frequencies are less as compared to 14 very very less. So here that will but this one is 12 closer to 14. So the mode will be closer to 120 and so check the options correct. Here 160 is not at all possible because 160 is not in the range of 120 to 140. 135 that possibility is there, correct? 135 that possibility is there because it is in the range of 125 to 140 but it is closer to 140. So we will not take, we will reject this also. And 140 is also not possible because we are going very very closer to 140 and so that is also not possible. So remaining is 125. 125 is closer to 120 and therefore the model daily pocket will be 125. So A option is the correct option. This way you can guess the mode of the given data but friends here remember gazing is sometimes accidental you must have that knowledge to guess what will be the mode so you can find the mode also by using the formula if your calculations are very quick you can find the mode and give the answer so this way you can find the mode by gazing now let us move to the next question and now friends this is for you the mean daily pocket allowance is whether it is rupees 150 rupees 142.50 or rupees 135.70 or rupees 145.20 you have to calculate and find what will be the mean daily pocket allowance friends I request you to solve this question and find the correct option. You write your option in the comment box. What is your answer so that we will come to know that how you are doing and how you are 
understanding the subject so friends i hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much for watching this video